Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into an intriguing comparison between the characters of House of the Dragon and their counterparts from Game of Thrones. If you've noticed some striking similarities, you're not alone. Let's break down how some of the key players in House of the Dragon are essentially copy-pasted from the iconic Game of Thrones characters we all know and love or hate. Let's start with King Viserys Targaryen. Many fans have pointed out that Viserys is a blend of Ned Stark and Robert Baratheon. Remember how Ned was all about honor and tradition, even when it cost him dearly? Viserys shares that same sense of integrity. Despite facing immense pressure, he stood by his decision to name Rhaenyra as his heir, showcasing his unwavering honor. This trait, however, also leads to the downfall of those he loves, much like Ned's fate. Viserys also embodies aspects of Robert Baratheon. He's the old, somewhat complacent king whose death triggers a succession crisis. His reign and demise set off a chain of events that propel the series into chaos, mirroring Robert's death in Game of Thrones. Next, we have Otto Hightower, who can be seen as a mix between Tywin Lannister and Peter Baelish. Otto, much like Tywin, is the calculated, power-hungry hand of the king. Both characters are surrounded by young, spoiled royals and serve as the voice of political reason amidst the chaos. Otto's relationship with Aegon, Alicent, and Kristen Cole mirrors Tywin's dynamic with Joffrey, Cersei, and Jaime. My grandson is a fool! He's worse than a fool! However, Otto lacks the iron grip Tywin had over the Seven Kingdoms. He's often undermined, and unlike Tywin, who maintained control until his death, Otto's power is more fragile. This vulnerability makes him comparable to Littlefinger, who manipulates from the shadows but lacks the outright power Tywin wielded. Both Otto and Littlefinger use others to climb the ladder of power, but their manipulations often backfire. Knowledge is power. Seize him. Moving on to Rhaenyra Targaryen, it's impossible not to draw parallels with Daenerys Targaryen. Both women are fierce, determined, and unyielding in their quest for the Iron Throne. Rhaenyra, like Dany, has a strong sense of destiny and entitlement. Fans of Daenerys who admired her resilience and unbending will find a similar spirit in Rhaenyra. I am not here to be Queen of the Ashes. Both women also face significant opposition and make controversial decisions that lead to disastrous events. Their love for their family lineage and culture shapes their paths, often leading to conflict and tragedy. Then there's Aegon II, who shares many traits with Joffrey Baratheon. Joffrey is infamous for his cruelty and lack of empathy, and while Aegon hasn't shown the same level of sadism, he exhibits a similar disregard for his people and a sense of entitlement. What are we going to do about it? Both characters enjoy the privileges of their status without understanding the responsibilities that come with it. Their youthful ignorance and selfishness make them deeply unpopular and dangerous rulers. Myceria and Lord Varys are both low-born strategists who use their intelligence and network of spies to influence the political landscape. Myceria, like Varys, started from humble beginnings and climbed the ranks through cunning and manipulation. Both characters are dedicated to the common people and use their positions to subtly undermine those in power who exploit the vulnerable. I want an end to the savage use of children in Flea Bottom. Their backstories and motivations are strikingly similar, making Myceria the Varys of House of the Dragon. My role is to be sly obsequious and without scruples. Kristen Cole is reminiscent of Jaime Lannister, though their character arcs diverge significantly. Jaime begins as a dishonorable knight but undergoes a redemption arc, becoming a complex and ultimately heroic figure. Kristen, on the other hand, starts as an honorable knight but becomes vengeful and bitter after being spurned by Rhaenyra. I, I've, I've solved my, my, my white cloak. It is the only thing I have to my fucking name. His transformation from likable to insufferable contrasts with Jaime's journey. Yet both characters struggle with their honor and desires. The things I do for love. <laughs> Alicent Hightower is a blend of Marguerite Tyrell and Cersei Lannister. Young Alicent, like Marguerite, is attractive and ambitious, using her marriage to gain power. However, as she grows older, she becomes more like Cersei, a manipulative mother determined to secure her children's future at any cost. Her shift from naive girl to power-hungry queen mirrors Cersei's arc, driven by patriarchal pressures and personal vendettas. Lord Larys is a mix of Varys and Littlefinger. Like Varys, his loyalties are flexible, and he aligns with whoever best serves his interests. However, unlike Varys, who often acted for the greater good, Larys is more self-serving, similar to Littlefinger. His manipulative nature and shifting allegiances make him a dark, sinister presence in House of the Dragon. It will be done. Oh my god. Hell. 
Daemon Targaryen and Jon Snow share several intriguing similarities. Both are skilled warriors, known for their prowess in battle and their rebellious streaks. Daemon, much like Jon, often finds himself at odds with the established order. He's a rogue prince, unafraid to challenge his brother, King Viserys, and make bold moves to assert his own power. This echoes Jon's defiance against the Night's Watch, and later, his resistance to Daenerys' rule. Beginning tonight, King's Landing will learn to fear the color gold. Moreover, both characters are driven by a sense of duty and honor, though their methods differ. Daemon's loyalty to his family and his fierce protection of Rhaenyra parallels Jon's unwavering commitment to his family and the North. As the story progresses, Daemon's evolving relationship with Rhaenyra, especially if she begins to exhibit more tyrannical traits, could mirror Jon's complicated dynamic with Danny as she descends into madness. Lastly, Aemon Targaryen can be compared to Cersei Lannister. Both characters are power-hungry and willing to go to great lengths to achieve their goals. Cersei's ruthless pursuit of power, driven by self-preservation and a desire to protect her children, finds a parallel in Aemon's ambition. Aemon's story is still unfolding, but his thirst for power and willingness to challenge his family mirrors Cersei's all-consuming drive. Let us drain our cups to these three strong boys. What do you think? Do these characters live up to their Game of Thrones counterparts? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into your favorite shows. See you next time. I'm telling mother. Oh.